Welcome to Flash Nose Collectibles. Here's an incredible treat for you. On our New Year's trip, we went to Bangkok, Singapore as well. But in Bangkok, there's an incredible store called King's Toys. And it was hard to find. Uh, we came with my brother, his girlfriend, and then Gabby, as you know from the channel. Uh, it says your destination is here. And here's King's Toys. Right on the outside, some incredible pillars, um, museum-style pieces. Um, like, uh, pillars, but here we have Optimus Prime. I think Starstream, Starscream, uh, Megatron as well. These are all one tenth scales. And then as we enter the store, we're gonna see the whole samurai line, which we're gonna get to after. But here's the incredible pieces that XM has created for the samurai line. Um, and there's my brother and his girlfriend. Now, as we get towards the right side of the store, when we enter, here we have Magic, and they're all quarter scale. We also have Colossus. I actually opted in for the sideshow Colossus instead of the XM. But this one was incredible as well. Here's that incredible Sabretooth and Omega Red. And there's a Hulkbuster as well. Then here we have the classic Iron Man with the incredible um, piece of artwork in the background. And uh, those of you that have space for artwork, man, it's incredible to have both pieces. Here we have the Iron Man Mark 7 as well with a very unique base. Very tall piece. Also quarter scale. Then we have the Ghost Rider, the XM Ghost Rider, an incredible piece, uh, one of the grails for many people as well as the art print right behind it. And as you can see, the pillars really make these things stand out. Here we have the Phoenix by XM, Dark Phoenix. Uh, so much detail in the, the Phoenix in the background, just an incredible piece as well. Then we have Cable here. Now this Cable, the colors are a bit uh, muted overall, but uh, it does tell the story of Cable and how he comes from the future. Also, here we have the XM Magneto in white. It looks awesome because he looks like he's floating. Then we have this incredible grail, which is a very rare piece, but unique. Uh, is Magneto in red sitting on that sentinel hand. Uh, a little bit underscaled for many people's uh, taste, but still a very rare piece for many collectors because it's so expensive. Here we have the classic Wolverine. And then as we move to the left, we have the Punisher on his incredible bike. Back in the day, Miss Marvel, actually a pretty tall piece, believe it or not. And then we have this incredible background here. Then back to the uh, DC line of the Samurai line. We have that Catwoman, great sculpt. Here's that Bane. You have to put him at the top. Then we have Batman. We have the Batman Shogun on the horse back there. We have here Deathstroke, which I wish they would have given him a bit of a different pose to see that sword at the back. Poison Ivy, and much more. Here we have the old-time classic Thanos with the Tesseract. And we have a very unique piece here, which is the Predator. Also Mystique, which is a bit oversized for many collectors, as you may know. And then we have the Dr. Octopus, which has been... It's been seen for so long. So many people are waiting to have it. It's been sold out for so long. And it's a really incredible piece in person. Here we have the Goblin. I think this is... There's two options. There's an option A and op option B version of this piece. And then a very incredible, very unique piece to the left here is Batman Sanity. So many collectors want this incredible piece to the left here. As we, as we move on, we can see here the diorama. I don't even know if it's called a diorama anymore, but it's just all these people, uh, all these incredible uh, villains that batman is uh so close to and we have i don't even know what some of their names are at least the ones in the back but we do have scarecrow harley quinn um we have the penguin there poison ivy we've got two face as well and so much detail into the sculpt of this thing they also have the option of the gray with bat just batman um painted then as we move on i don't know if this is an xm piece i couldn't find it on their website but a very unique anime looking piece. And then we have the six scale uh, dark side from DC. There's an incredible wall with all the artworks for so many of the statues that they have. And when you really put it on one wall like this, it's so incredible. As we move through the store, you're going to see some incredible XM pieces here on the left hand side and really across the entire room. Now, this is actually a store. They don't sell anything. They just have everything on display. As we move forward, here you can see Iron Fist, She-Hulk, which is a pretty awesome piece, destroying the top of that tank. 
Then we have Wolverine with the two swords towards the back, and there's so many switch out options for that. Then we here have that Weapon X by XM, which is such a rare piece now. Beta Ray Bill, an underrated piece in person, so incredible. He's standing on top of Surtur's head. Can't wait for the him to come out in the movie. Here we have Namor, or Namor, as Mr. X would call it. Then here we have the Red Skull and Bucky with his two guns. Uh, small piece, but underrated. Here we've got the big guy, Mr. Kingpin, next to the Street Heroes, which is Elektra. And behind that Daredevil, we'll take a look at him after. Then getting into the Spidey things, we've got Electro with his comic book face. And surprisingly, my favorite piece of the entire place when I went there was that Carnage, which I ended up getting a few weeks later. Then we've got the Spider-Man and Mary Jane. We've got Lizard, who's a very underrated piece, big base. We have Black Cat, very small piece, but still, I believe it's also sold out. And then we have here at the top, we've got Vulture. There's my sister-in-law, my brother. Not interested. And we have, here we have the, the Star Wars line, which is Boba Fett. Super cool piece. Love this piece. It's got a lot of great color. That fire looks incredible. Mr. Luke as a young, young guy. And then here we have the trio. Same person. Same person, different ages. Here we have baby Anakin, or young Anakin, medium Anakin, and Darth Vader. Here we have that Iron Man. I don't remember which Iron Man this is. Uh, and then we have here a life-size Iron Man, which is the same exact version version of that XM piece. I don't know who made it, but how incredible would it be to have that in the house? Here we have the, I believe, the one six scale pieces now. Here we've got a Rhino bust, a Hulk bust, a Goblin bust. I think also one six scale. Actually, one fourth scale. Here we have a Lizard bust. Here we have that Venom bust. Another unique piece by XM to the top right of that. Here we've got Lobo with his dog riding that, uh, pretty much, I don't even know what it's called, jet. We have another Thor bust, quarter scale Thor bust. That Lobo was, I believe, a 1-6 scale. Then we get into the DC line. Very amazing pieces, DC, with their Wonder Woman and the Flash. Probably the best Flash in the market. If it was a 1-4, I'd get all over it. Two Batmans, and then up top here we have... That Green Lantern with the incredible sculpt. To the right, we've got Aquaman, Superman, again, all 1-6 scale. Then we got Joker and Harley. For being 1-6 scales, these are incredible, incredible pieces. Then on the out, towards the outside of the store, you have Captain America, double time. I love the one with the uh, flag. I've been looking for it for quite some time. Hard to find. Then we have Daredevil here which we saw the back side of him on the other side before. Electro's backside. Carnage. I've got this guy. He's so incredible. Here we have Spider-Gwen, the back of Lizard. Mysterio, another underrated piece. Very large. And then again, through the outside here, we've got Hulkbuster. The side of him. And you can see how Iron Man's just popping out directly from the front. And then you can see how massive this Hulkbuster is. My brother was actually telling me to uh, sell a few pieces just to get him. And I've considered it, but uh, it's pretty expensive. Well, that's all for Flash Nose Collectibles. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tune in to the other statue reviews we've done in the past. And have a great day. Take care.